Welcome back to the Tin Man Project. This is lesson 14. And we finished up modeling the head, the base of the head here. And I just want to make a couple little um, notes here, some things about shaping the head. If we hit three on our keyboard, you can see uh, the top row here, the top edges on above the eyes and the brow area really pulls up. That's caused because our, our next uh, tension line is way up here. It would sort of um, help us to drop in a couple more edge loops, and you can see right there how that just brought those edges down around the eyes. They're not stretching up so much. We will smooth this before we start actually adding materials on here, but for now you might want to just go ahead and drop in a couple edge loops. And if you're wanting to shape the character at all, you can go into uh, Smooth Preview. That's three on the keyboard and double click on your move tool and this will open up the tool settings and down here under soft select you can just check that. I usually bring the tolerance or the fall off radius down to something like um, one or two and just close that. So what happens is when you grab your vertices say I want to uh, shape the bottom of his chin right here you can see this area that kind of lights up and that's sort of showing you the fall off that it's going to have. Let's kind of grab this here in the center. Still not quite centered. There we go. And so if I pull that, you can see that it's uh, got a fall off to it that allows you to smooth areas out without pulling individual vertices around. So this is a nice tool, um, especially for shaping organic characters, but it works a bit on the face if you're trying to round out this area down here. You know, you can expand it this way move it around like that. All right, so that's just a good tool to have. And you can get out of it by hitting B on the keyboard. B is the toggle for on and off for soft select. All right, so let's move on with the eyes and the neck and as well as the nose. For the nose, um, I'll go ahead and start with that. I actually want to open up my outliner and go back into the library. So I'm turning that on. And in here, I want to grab this piece right here. That is one of the joints that we made. And I'm just going to grab this joint. Um, no need to duplicate it. What we're going to do is just uh, pull it out a little bit here. And I'm going to select the faces inside. So just grabbing a marquee and dragging it around these faces on the inside. Grabbing all of those. And I'm going to go to four on the keyboard. You can see I've uh, grabbed some on the back side that I don't want. So I'm just going to hold down control, drag a marquee to deselect. And I've got an extra one right here I don't need. Come back to five on the keyboard. And we're going to just duplicate those faces. So under Edit Mesh, Duplicate Face, I'm just going to click on that. Back to object mode here and just move that piece out so it's duplicated those faces. This is going to be our nose and we'll need to pull that out of the library. So I'm just going to drag that up to the top here, push it back, kind of where his nose is going to be. We're going to reshape that in a moment. So I'm just going to drag that and pull that out of the library. it is. So I'm just going to drag it above the torso for right now and go ahead and close the library down, turn the visibility off on it again. And let's uh, delete the history on that. Double click and call it nose. And I'm going to go ahead and center the pivot on it as well. All right, so there it is. And we can do a little bit of shaping on it. Let's close our outliner down. I'm going to hit F on the keyboard, so that's going to frame up around the nose. Uh, it's a small piece, so sometimes it's hard to maneuver around it. And hitting F on the keyboard will allow you to kind of move around it a little bit more easily. So I'm going to grab the vertices on the front here, drag a marquee, hit E on the keyboard. And I'm just going to kind of angle his nose a little bit like that and maybe pull it up a little. 
and I'm going to take a couple of these vertices over here, three on this side, and three over here. I've got an extra edge on there I need to delete. And I'm just going to push them back a little bit. Kind of look from the top down. That's kind of following the curvature in the front of the face a little better. And I'm going to delete this face here. Don't need that. And I'm going to extrude the edge. Just double click on the edge, extrude that, push it back. And go back to object mode. And we can angle the whole thing a little bit like that. And push it back in. So that's his nose right there. And looks like we can grab a couple more of these vertices on this side, kind of the, and push them back as well. So they're sitting in like that. Okay, and I think these top ones here, this is all going to depend on how you've shaped your face. So go ahead and try to get it uh, kind of equal distance all the way around so you see a little bit of an edge like that. Okay, back to object mode. So there's his nose, and you can always kind of scale it. If you want to make it a little tiny nose, you can do that. I'm going to kind of leave mine the size it was. Okay, let's make the neck now. We're going to use a cylinder for that. Polygon cylinder. It's down here in the bottom. Just going to drag it up to the top. Scale it down. And we can reduce the number of subdivisions on that back down to 12 that we've been using. And two on the height and zero on the caps. We're actually going to delete the caps. We don't need those. So with this subdivision right here, um, let's kind of elongate it first, make it fit in there. There's my wireframe view. So I'm just kind of positioning it like that, scaling it a little bit more so it sits down inside. And I've got that subdivision where I can see it between the collar and the neck. And I'm going to grab those vertices and just kind of angle it a little bit and maybe push it forward just so there's a little bit of a bend in his neck and if you want to scale it in a little you can do that too okay so I'm going to grab the faces now so I'm grabbing this one up here deleting it same thing on the bottom, deleting that, and dropping in some edge loops to hold those ends together. Just click and drag to the close to the, the end there. All right, so back to six on the keyboard. Q to end that process of inserting edge loops, and just three. So if you want a little bit more of a crook in his neck, you can add another edge loop in there and then grab both of those and sort of either scale them, kind of bring them forward. All right. Okay, so we've got his neck in place. Let's make his eye now. So we're going to use another polygon cylinder for that. Just bring it up and over come into the inputs, pick subdivisions down to 12 in the axis. We'll put three for the height and zero for the caps again. Let's rotate that towards us. So that's the X axis in 90 degrees. Let's go ahead and scale it down overall. And elongate it a little bit. And let's go ahead and place that kind of in the eye socket area might want to hit F on the keyboard to frame up on that. Okay, so I've got it kind of placed in there. We'll have to kind of shape it a little bit more. Big 
pull it out like that. And down a little bit. So I can see the entire front. It's not intersecting with the eye like that. And we can taper down the back end, just grabbing the vertices. Hit four on the keyboard. You, see, you, can, you can see inside here, I've got all these vertices. And just hit R on the keyboard and scale them down uniformly. So that kind of tapers that off. Fits into the eye socket a little bit better. And come back to object mode. Let's insert some edge loops. Got one here. And I'm going to come into wireframe mode and just click and drag one almost to the very end. Just come inside here and we'll grab that back face. We don't need that. Get rid of it. And Grab this edge of faces here. Double clicking on that, extruding, and just pulling them out. It's creating a little bit of a lip. Then I'm going to grab the face in the front. And we're going to extrude that once. We're going to push it in first. I'm not going to scale it, I'm just pushing it in a little bit. And then we're going to extrude it again and pull it out. Again, just pulling it out a little bit beyond the lip there. And I'm going to scale this in slightly. All right. And one more time, just kind of pulling that out and scaling it in like that. Cue to end that process. And let's quad this off. And hit Y on the keyboard to activate that again. So you can do Y, enter, hit Y again, and finish that off. So if you hit three on the keyboard, you can see that makes kind of a nice edge back in there. It looks recessed. And if you need to shape it a little bit, I feel like uh, this edge right here could actually come up a little bit. Going to scale up a little. I'm going to come back to one on the keyboard and insert some edge loops to hold these edges together. So one here, one there, one in the middle here, and one there. So if we hit three on the keyboard again, Q to get out of that. Come back to object mode. It should look something like that. All right, let's delete the history on it. And we can freeze the transforms under Modify Freeze Transforms. That zeroes everything out. And if we hit W on the keyboard, we need to uh, duplicate special this over, but we're going to have to move the pivot point to the center. So let's do that by hitting the Insert key. You can see the manipulator right there. I'm going to grab. X, that's the red one, holding down the X key. That's going to snap it to the grid. And let me pull back out here. Looks like I've got it on the grid. You can always check from your front view. It's a little easier to see it right there. So holding down X snaps to the grid. And then insert to get out of that. Come back out here. So with that in the center now, we can use Duplicate Special under Edit. Duplicate Special, and let's reset the settings, and under Scale X, we want to make sure it's negative 1. Copies that over. So we've got our eyes now, our nose, and our neck. All right, so we're going to make the ears next. I'm going to go back into the library under the Outliner, turn the visibility on. Open that up and come down here and take a look at our different objects and kind of find the one that we're looking for. I think it's this one right here. Uh, you can kind of choose one that you like. Uh, maybe I'll use this one right here again. And I'm just going to duplicate the faces again. So I'm just going to 
right mouse click, select faces, grab all of these right here, and under edit mesh, duplicate face, and just drag those off right there, and up. So we'll go ahead and pull these up to the top here, kind of position them off to the side, and we'll need to drag that out of the library. So it's this poly surface four. Make sure you go inside the group where you copied it from and then just drag that up, up where the nose is at. Close the library down. And you can see that it's highlighted red right now. It's still uh, got a connection to that. So let's go ahead and just uh, select that and the library and just delete the history on it. That'll break the connection to that object in there. Okay, and shut the visibility off on that. Turning the library off, we can close down our outliner. So I've got this piece here now and we need to rotate it. It's facing sideways. So that's 90 degrees in the Y axis. Come back over here and just move it. You're going to have to scale it down and kind of move it into position. Now, if you don't like the shape of this and you want to do something a little different, um, you can do that as well. Or if you want to modify this piece, you can do that too. I'm going to drop an edge loop in here just to hold that edge together in the back. and push that into place. If you want to kind of sink it in like that, you can do that as well. And we'll do the same thing here, deleting the history, freezing the transforms on it, and we'll have to move the pivot over. So insert on the keyboard, holding down the X key, grabbing the X manipulator, the red one. We're just snapping it over to the center hitting insert on the keyboard again, and now we can come over to edit, duplicate special, and our settings from before should be fine, the negative one in scale X, and just duplicate that over. All right, so just jump back here in the outliner real quickly. Let's name that ear left, and this one over here is ear right. And I'm going to drag that up to there. And his head is right there. Dragging that up as well. His neck. And I think we've got all the pieces. Uh, the eyes we still need, these two cylinders. So it's eye left and eye right. So clicking on those and then holding down control and just clicking on the rest of the pieces for the head. Control G will group it together and we'll call that head group. Bring that up to the top here. I'm actually going to take my library and slide it down here to the bottom. Got a couple of extra pieces in here that I don't need. Okay. We can close that down and we're ready to move on to his hat and we'll do that in the next lesson.